everyone. Prophet Jeremiah said, I will not mention his name any longer. I will speak no more about him. This was the prophet. And we know what the prophet does. The prophet communicates the mind of God to the people. The prophet is a messenger of God. Through the prophet, God brings his message to, human, to humanity. And Jeremiah was considered as a wonderful prophet. And of course, he went around preaching the word of God, reminding people what God wants them to do. But in his own narrative, his own life, as he was doing this, bringing the message to the people, he was experiencing a lot of difficulties, a lot of persecution. People were castigating him. People were saying all sort of evil things against him. Today said that being human, because he was human, he started feeling uncomfortable because people were not saying good things about him. Not that he did anything wrong, but he was simply bringing the message of God to the people. As you will always know, whenever you bring the gospel message to people as it is, some will receive it very well, some will not receive it. And so, some that did not receive it well, we are trying to make Jeremiah not to be a worthy and authentic prophet. And that's why he said, and it because he was human, he said, I will never speak about the message of God any longer. I think I would rather stop talking. That was his temptation. Jeremiah experienced temptation when he was preaching the gospel, preaching the word of God to the people. And that temptation was to stop talking about it because people didn't want him to still talk about it. But then, he also tells us there was a fire in him. There was a fire, a very strong fire in his heart that was contradicting whatever he was thinking of doing because he was thinking of stopping to preach, stopping to spread the gospel, the message of God. But on the other end, there was a fire that was trying to tell him, go ahead, never stop, do not stop. I am sure a lot of us experience the same thing that, you know, Jeremiah experienced in his ministry, his life. You probably have experienced a time in your life, or many times in your life, when you really want to say something that you know that this is good, this is authentic, this is really what God will want us to do, and people, and people have really contradicted you or have made you not to say it, or made some comment that makes you somehow feeling uncomfortable to say it or to do it. We sometimes experience similar things. And on the other hand, even as you're experiencing pushback from people, there is still in you this zeal, this fire in you telling you, never give up. Don't give up. Because you know this is the truth. This is the gospel. This is what God wants us to do. Jeremiah was presenting himself. I mean, his story is not simply presenting a human condition, what all of us experience. I don't think any human being in this world did will say, especially if you're an adult, can say that you have never experienced similar thing that Jeremiah experienced when you were trying to be an advocate of truth, or when you are trying to be an advocate of good life, and some people were not receiving it, and sometimes you tend to be giving up, you tend to you know, decide, I'm going to give up or forget about it, and as you are thinking that way, the other spirit, the spirit of God in you, was also telling, telling you, never give up. Today, we are reminded that even when your spirit, when, you are, when people are trying to contradict the word of God that you want to spread, don't give up like the spirit of Jeremiah today. 
Jeremiah was like feeling reluctant, but he was at the same time empowered by the Spirit of God to speak the truth. We are often empowered. Sometimes we don't recognize it. We are often given that power to speak the truth, to also not just to speak the truth, but also to act, to show it in action. Even when people don't want us to show it, we have every opportunity to do that. But we have to listen to that very fire in us, that very spirit in us that continues to tell us, be courageous, take courage, do what you are doing for God is with you. In the gospel reading, we have also something similar. Jesus Christ told his followers that he was going to die on the cross, that he was going to save humanity, that he was going to go into his passion, and that passion is going to be something very, very difficult. And St. Peter came to him and was like, no, 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 you don't have to go through this. This is too much. This cannot happen to you. Now, St. Peter was almost like the devil. That's why Jesus told him at this time, get out of me, Satan. You are acting like human being. That's not how to act. Because Jesus had a goal, and it was a holy goal. Even though it's a challenging goal, it was something very challenging, but it was something very authentic, something that he wanted to do, and something that is very, very honorable. But then St. Peter wanted him not to do it because he was almost like trying to protect Jesus. But Jesus didn't need that level of protection. He didn't want that level of protection. He wanted to do what he, what he determined already that he was going to do. And that's why he told him, get out of me, Satan. I'm going to do this. That very fire in Jesus, that very spirit that was in him, gave him the courage to rebuke the one that was trying to tell him not to do this. And he went ahead and accomplished his own journey, whatever he wanted to do in this world. And that's why we all br he brought salvation to all of us. He died on the cross. And so, my dear friends, Today, the two readings are reminding us what we share, what we experience every time. That the spirit that's trying to tell us, trying to discourage us, and then the God spirit, the spirit of God, that continues to inspire us, to tell us, be courageous. As we face our life, our spiritual journey in our world today, whenever we get this kind of conflicting, you know, tension, you know, in us, positive and negative tension. Let us go with that very positive one, which I call the Spirit of God. That Spirit of God is trying to tell us, you have to lean on this. If you do this, that will lead you into heaven. That will please God. If you follow the negative tension, negative thing that is trying to tell, dissuade you, then God will not be happy with you. Because Jeremiah did not follow the negative one. Rather, he followed the positive that leads to eternal life. We pray that we will be always inspired to be authentic and to preach the authentic gospel and the authentic life anytime, any moment that we are challenged to do it, not counting whatever problems we are going to face. Amen.